Bruce this week as your favorite game show host plays Scrabble. And one of them is an eight-letter word. She knows how to draw a crowd. It's the crossword game you've played all your life, but never quite like this. And here's your host, Chuck Flurry. All right, thank you, Charlie Tuna. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the uh, game show host week here on Scrabble. We're really excited because some of our, some of you are, and some of mine as well, favorite game show hosts are going to be here with us this week, not hosting, but uh, playing the game. And Charlie's going to introduce our first two players. Charlie. Jamie was a bag boy in a grocery. Jim packed pickles in a pickle factory. The host of Double Up, Jamie Farr. And the host of Million Dollar Chance of a Lifetime, Jim Lang. All right, nice to have you both here. Still my favorite. Thank hey, you, Jamie. Chuck. Thanks, Chuck. Chuck, it really, it, it's, a, it's an honor and, a, and really a pleasure to be on a show with somebody like Jim Lang and, and uh, Wink Martindale and, of course, yourself and, and Jeff McGregor. But it's really an insult, I mean, to have Bill Rafferty as, as part of this. <laughs> and Bill said, you know, he talked about, about your beautiful watch, like that's the one that ate Burbank and NBC. He talked about my nose, he wants to move in and drive your uh, watch around the country. This is an insult. Like, the man has no business being on this show, Chuck. And yet, he is. Uh, <laughs> is he related to the producer, the executive? No, he's related to me. It's my brother under a different name. I didn't no. know. There is a resemblance. <laughs> nice to have you, Jim. Welcome back. Thank you. He's a great player, as you know, Bill. I'm he's afraid. Great. Jim's Jim's a good player too. Well, he's you know he's on every game show there is. I, I don't know how he remembers what show this is. This yeah. is Scrabble. You Scrabble. Jimmy, okay, all right. Yeah. We asked our viewers to send in their names, and some of these na these names were drawn at random by NBC's compliance and practices, who have uh, obviously kept them secret. Now each uh, each one of our hosts has an envelope in front of them containing uh, one of those names. And uh, whatever they win goes to that person out here at home. So it's kind of fun, you know. We get to play for our home audience, get to win a little bunny. And we're going to find out who those people are a little bit later on, but uh, now we're going to find out who won the toss. Oh, I, I, I did. You did, Jamie? Yes, okay, let's play Scrabble. Yes, we're going to play till somebody gets three words right, right, and that player goes on to our Scrabble sprint, have a chance at that bonus worth 10000 every day this week. Take a look at the board as we set up for our first game. We're building on the letter A, eight letters in the word, and the clue is, if you're not careful, they'll hit you with a big bill. Now, if, when you think you know the word, hit your buzzer. Don't forget the pink and blue bonus squares. They're worth money. If you're not careful, they'll hit you with a big bill. Mm. Oh, I do. I draw. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry. Those little hands were great. Yes, these are the ones. Yes, I was thinking of Bill Rafferty, and I got ill. <laughs> Thank you. I'll take the five and the seven. Oh, he's going to get you. Big bill. The okay, I'm going to take the T. Stop it. They work to your advantage. Let's see, Jim. Ooh. Can I pick another one? Or I pick one. Bring yourself up to speed. All right, number three. R and a D. I'll take the D. If you're not careful, they'll hit you with a big bill. Hmm. I'll take the R. Falls right in there. Three in a row. If you're not careful, they'll hit you with a big bill, Jim. Move right on. Okay, okay. four. And six. S. And an N. Hmm. Take the N. <laughs> no, that's the stopper. It did work yeah, for you, Jamie. So it came back. No, the only one stopper left. Yes. Uh, you do know what it is? No, no, I do do not know what it oh, is. Oh, okay. I'm well, playing like Rafferty now. Take another try. Maybe you can the money enough. for these folks at home. Spiritual words. S and a U. Uh, I'll take uh, the S <laughs> to save myself. Uh, and then careful. I'm going to have to take the U. If you're not careful, they'll hit you with a big bill. Number one. And number two. A B. Yes. And a Z. I, yes, I have it. Thank right. you. Go. I will take the B. Five hundred dollars. If you're not careful, they'll hit you with a big bill. Buzzer. You got it. That's the way to do it. Well, he sets you up and you knock it down. One, two, three, four, five hundred. Well, you're in the bird family. You came out of the right way. Building on the letter A and buzzard. Seven letters in the word. And the clue is a well-known club owner. A well-known club club owner. Owner. Okay. I'll take one. And nine. I'll go on either end here. B and an N. B and an N. Uh, N, please. A well-known club owner. Go ahead, Caveman. Go. That's exactly right. Yeah, you want to hit that buzzer, but that's right. That's the way to do it, Jim. 
Now, anytime you suspect that the other one's a stopper, then you yeah. want to jump in and answer it if you I can. I was worried about that. Okay. Very well played. Okay, Jamie. Yes. Really? Already? Holy Toledo. Thank okay, you. it's all tied up. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Jamie is from Toledo. That bell means we've run out of time. We're going to play the rest in speed words, so hands on your buzzers. Don't answer until I say go. We'll put the letters in place one at a time. Can't give you the last letter. Here we go. Building on the letter A in caveman, nine letters in the word. The clue is, some of them are very single-minded about their future. Some of them are very single-minded about their future. Ready? Go. Some of them. Yes, James. Bachelor. That's exactly right. That's two to one. You picked up on the single-minded. Yeah. I didn't fight. Two to one. Jim has to get this to get back in the game. And Jamie's going for the game. Building on the letter O in bachelors, uh, six letters in the word. And the clue is... Sometimes husbands come home and find them in a stew. Sometimes husbands come home and find them in a stew. Ready? Go. Jim. Onion. That's right. Thousand bucks. Tied it up for a thousand. You hit a big one. Whoa. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one thousand dollars. Nice and good. Beautiful one. Yeah. Building the letter O and onion. Seven letters in the word. The clue is... He does things in his own fashion. He does things in his own fashion. Ready? Go. He does things in his own fashion. Jamie, Austin. Austin's right. That's a thousand dollars to you, too. Very well played, Jim. Very well played. Yeah. So you've won a thousand dollars. And why don't you open up? Let's see who we're playing All for, right. okay? We got a thousand dollars here, and the winner is... Margaret Ferris, Bay City, Michigan. All right, Margaret, you got a thousand dollars and another little gift that Charlie's going to tell you about that, right? Jim, your home viewer will receive Hitachi's dual cassette recorder, three amplifiers with woofer, tweeter, mid-range, and powerful speaker system. Masterpiece in technology furnished by Hitachi. All right, Jim Lyons, we're going to be seeing him again, and thank you, Jim. That was thank very you. well played. Come on down, Jamie. Jamie's got a thousand dollars. Don't forget your envelope there. Jamie's got a thousand dollars for the person he's playing for. And, uh, oh, pardon me, another thousand, that's right. So you got, you got 500 for the game, yeah. 500 bonus, and another thousand because you just won it on the last one. Oh, it did. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, total of two thousand dollars and a chance for another thousand. We'll be back right up. <laughs> now back to Scrabble and Chuck Lurie. All right, I'm back here with my old friend Jamie Farr doing real well. I'd, I'd hate to be up against you, I swear. I'd say the guy you to watch, McGregor. McGregor. He's yeah. the guy to you, watch. Both yeah. of you guys are tough. Two thousand uh, dollars that you have for your uh, person. Oh, open your envelope. Oh, Let's yeah. see who we're playing for. Who we're playing for? Jeff McGregor. <laughs> from, uh, <laughs> right. Irma Butler from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. All right, Irma. You've got two thousand dollars and a chance for another thousand right now. So uh, you're going to play four words. Remind you to hit your plunger. That's what stops the clock. And no stoppers in any of these words. All the letters are good. You're so well groomed. Thank you. That's my uh, game show host jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Okay, here we go. First word, five letters. It's like putty in your hand. It's like putty in your hand. Ready? Yes, sir. Go. Oh, D. E, uh, H. It's like putty in your hand. Uh, D. Go. Yes. Second word has six letters. <laughs> they're not, they're they're not getting terribly a, enthused about this. You're getting to figure out where you are? Yeah, don't don't uh, boost it up with the machine. There'll be a lot of applause for that. You'll see, Chuck. That's what made your yeah, career, that I machine. You don't use one of those words. Second word, six letters. Sometimes they can carry a lot of clout. Sometimes they can carry a lot of clout. Ready? Yes, sir. Go. Uh, R. Sometimes they can carry a lot of F. clout. Uh, U. Person. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Hey, put somebody over the head with Yes, I know. Okay. Uh, uh, kind of strange, but that's what it is. Third word, seven letters. One of them is a famous hunter. One of them is a famous hunter. Ready? Yes. Go. F. C. One of them is a famous hunter. T. Uh, S. Uh, eight. One of them is a famous hunter. Uh, catfish. Yes, catfish hunter. The picture of yes, it. Yeah. Last word has eight letters. That was a tough one, too. Yeah, Last word has eight letters. They make some good rolls. They make some good rolls. Ready? Yes. Go. 
M. M. It makes a good roll. Uh, R. Uh, D. It makes a good roll. Summer. That's very good. 31 seconds. I think that's a good time for those four words. The first one kind of threw you a little bit, but then you got it right in the groove and picked it up. Good. Okay, Jamie. And uh, Irma Butler, you, who has $2,000 and a sadly time of 31 seconds. We'll see if that'll stand up right after this. Hey. Uh, Vicky Lawrence. All right, nice to have you both back with us. How are you doing, Wayne? How are you? I'm fine. I paid the boy when I was growing up. That was fun to do that on yeah. a bicycle. I had my Schwinn knee action. Can you remember how much you made as a paper boy? I can't. No, I don't. $4.70 a week. Was that what it was? Yes. Yeah. Now I think I was eight? underpaid. I was in construction. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't it's mean it. 30, right? I think, what yeah. I made. There aren't many paper boys anymore. That's a lot. Paper boys are almost becoming uh, a thing of the past. Well, yeah, it's true. Because it ends up in our mailbox now almost. Yeah. <laughs> nice to have you back, Wink. Thanks. Playing well and uh, look forward to another game. Hi, Vicky. Uh, what was your hit record? The Night the Lights Went Out in Georgia. And a big hit record at that. Now, who what? wrote that? I was trying to think of who wrote it. Bobby Russell. Bobby it's, Russell. I'm one of the few people that can do a medley of her hit. Yeah, but I tell you what, you you had, that was, how many million did that thing sell? I don't know. A lot. I know, because it was an enormous Lots record. Lots of millions, yeah. yeah. Now you're doing win, lose, and draw. How do you like doing that? I love it. I, it, it I, we, Wink and I were talking about it backstage. I, I really feel like I've had a crash course in uh, Dick Clark or Chuck Woolery or something. It's a, it's an education. It it looks, you guys make it look much easier than it is. Yeah, you do a good, nice I job, though. I've been watching it. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. In fact, I use the guy who does the cartoons to do a cartoon for me. He's wonderful. Oh, he's terrific. He's Over really Over I'm going to single-handedly make him nice. famous. He's Chuck, we've got to tell our employers now how hard this job is that we do. Oh, yeah. You just admitted it. It's a very <laughs> difficult job. To make it look to make easy. Who on the top back there? I don't know. Okay, let's go to the board. Here we go. Wait a minute. Good luck to both of you. We're building on the letter E, nine letters in the word, and the clue is some married couples only do it once a year. <laughs> you get all the good ones. If you're in all the good ones. Some married couples uh, only do it once a year. Want to take a couple of tiles? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah. Number 11 and number 3. Well, you have an E and an S. Uh, Chuck, I'll take the S. Oh, that's not the thing as a stopper. Okay, over to you, Vicky. It may work to your advantage, though, Wayne. Oh, now what? Well, I you take another e? letter, bring yourself up to C. I get to take and then another you have one a here? choice. Mm -hmm. Oh, I get an actual. Have an E and an E, so oh. you're going to have well, to take an E. Well, let me see. I guess I'll take the E. <laughs> Some married couples only do it once a year. Uh huh. Uh. Got two of them showing. You want to try for three? Fudge. I, uh, yeah, I guess so. Pushing my luck, aren't I? Some married couples <laughs> well. only do it once a year. Mm hmm. Uh. Take a couple more tiles if you don't, okay. know, you don't know how to do it. Five, R one. and a C. Uh, let's try the R. Some married couples only do it once a year. No? <laughs> try the C. I feel so stupid. Okay, I'll take the C. <laughs> Not easy. Oh. Why not loud celebrate? That's right, it's celebrate. Wow, it didn't go for the money with those two stoppers. Odds are getting a little bit lower each time. Okay, Wink, back to the board. She never gave it back to you. It's really fun. I was yeah, well, watching this game here, Chuck. We just was real lucky. That's all. <laughs> Building on the letter E and celebrate, six letters in the word. And the clue is women. Oh, come on, you got. Why do you do this to me? Why? <laughs> women usually put the seat down when they go there. <laughs> I know, really. It's so yeah. Well, it actually is. What's the clue again, John? Uh, women usually put the seat down when they go there. I knew it. I'd yeah, want to hear you say that again. Yeah, always forget to put it back down. <laughs> Take a couple of times. Okay, I'll take the... <laughs> and oh, the two. I and an O. Uh, please give me the... Um, o. Women usually put the seat down when they go there. Uh... I can't believe it's really... No, it wouldn't be that, would it? No, it wouldn't. <laughs> uh, well, you got to do I'll something. I'll take the eye. Take the eye. Mm, women usually put the seat down when they go there. <laughs> okay, I'll take the four. <laughs> and the seven. I Why personally you will take the bus. <laughs> K and an L. Uh... I'll take the L. No, no stop it. It's over to you, Vicky. Women usually put the seat down when they get oh, there. Oh, I can take, take a another one, right? Yeah, I'll take a one. K and an F. Uh, I'll try the F. Women usually put the seat down when they go there. Quickly. I don't know. I okay. guess I have to take the K, don't I? Uh-oh. 
There's only one stopper left now, Wink. You can jump back in here, take a couple of tiles. I don't know what we'll it is, Chuck. I got to take a tile. I'll okay. take the eight. Take one more. Oh, yes. V and a U, which would you like? Uh, V. That's worth $500. Women usually put the seat down when they go there. Movies. Yeah, that's it. It's all tied up. It took a long time, but you got a little money out of it. One, two, three, four, five. Really tough about that. Whatever this is, we got something. Uh, right. It's real hard to let that first letter sometimes. And, and the other word looks so possible. <laughs> okay, that bell means we're going to time. We're going to play the rest of this in speed word. Hand on your buzzers. Uh, we'll put the letters in place one at a time. Can't give you the last letter. Here we go with some fun. Building on the letter O in movies, eight letters in the word, and the clue is people sometimes find criminals this way. Ready? Go. People sometimes find criminals this way. People sometimes find criminals this way. Vicky. Aniston. That's right. Two to one. Couldn't get that money. Building on the letter E in innocent, there are six letters in this word, and the clue is it can be passed from one member of the family to another. It can be passed from one member of the family to another. Ready? Go. It can be passed from one member of the family to another. Wink. Pepper. That's right. It's just pepper. That's all. Real simple. Those are the ones that throw you. Okay, it's all tied up. Anybody's game. We're going for it right now. Building on the letter E and Pepper, seven letters in the word. And the clue is some people have flimsy ones. Some people have flimsy ones. Ready? Go. <laughs> some people have flimsy ones. Vicky. Excuse That's me. right. You got you. You got you, Link. Well, you got that $500. Let's see who you're playing for. Okay, Jack. We're playing for... Um, this is Nellie Quiller of Belvedere, South Carolina. All right, got the dual cassette recorder for her as well as, well as the 500. We'll see Wink a little bit later on. Vicki, come on down, bring your envelope. You got $500 for them. And we're going to be right back to find out who you're going to be playing for and see how you're doing the travel train. We'll be back. Come on over this way. Travel and Chuck Willery. Okay, Gene, as far as uh, he's collected $2,000 already for Irma Butler, he's established a time of 31 seconds, and Vicki Lawrence is going to try to beat that. One? I hope oh, you're monosyllabic words. Maybe they will be. Let's open up a few you're playing for. Okay. Who is this poor soul? Mrs. Grace Roberts in Glen Clove, New York. Grace. Well, you and me, Chip. Well, you ought to have $500 for it. Grace is going to be too unhappy. Yes, Grace. And now this is for $1,000 and a chance to play for that bonus of $10,000. you are going to play the same four words he played. Yeah. Mind you to hit your plunger. That's what stops the clock. I hope I get clock. one before 30 seconds. You will. Seconds and no stoppers in any of these words. Every letter you see is good, so you can kind of play the shuffle if you want to. Okay? <clears throat> good luck. Here we go. First word, five letters. It's like putty in your hand. Like putty in your hand. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. Go. G. Go. That's right. Very well done. That's the way to do it. When it comes in there, just go for it. The second word has six letters. Sometimes they can carry a lot of clout. Mm -hmm. they can carry a lot of clout. Ready? Okay. Go. S. Uh, e. Sometimes they can carry a lot of clout. R. Uh, S. Mm. U. Sometimes they can carry a lot of clout. Oh. Don't I don't know. <laughs> no, you got it right. <laughs> I'm not sure we can accept old poop, but... <laughs> well, you didn't work. Look at that. was hard without the tea up there. Okay, well, you got that one. Now, how many... Okay. I have Here we go. Seconds. You're doing very well. You got 11.6 right. seconds. Third word, seven letters. <laughs> yeah. One of them is a famous hunter. One of them is a famous hunter. Ready? Yeah. Go. F. Jeffrey? No. Well, Jeffrey is a famous hunter. Well, he is, but we're looking for another uh, famous hunter here. You're down to six seconds. That's a ten-second penalty. So. Oh, fine. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. One of them is you a guys famous are a lot of hunter. Help. Ready? Yes. Go. C. Uh, H. T. <laughs> Catfish hunter, the old pitcher, remember him? Yes, I remember yeah, him. Not Jeffrey. He did well, though. Okay. He did. That was he was awesome. off to, he was off to a real good start. Yeah. I was going to say Tad, but that wasn't enough. No, no, no. Grace Roberts has $500, and Vicky will join us again for sure.
And uh, Jamie's uh, Irma Butler has 3,000. He's gone for 10,000 right after this. Mm -hmm. Now you started off with a hot the fire, though. you really did. What happens is, you know, you get overconfident and you go $3,000, 10 seconds on the clock, two words, get them under 10 seconds, you win her $10,000. Let's see how you do, Jamie. It's like a personal challenge to you, I it can is. tell. Yeah. It is. McGregor's tough. Now, tough. let's see how you do. First word, six letters. It can give you a leg up. Okay. Go. Tell me. Ladder? No. You gotta wait for those things to come. See, it's a 10 second family, it blew it out. Yeah, that, that was a good idea. Yeah. Can-can. Oh, can-can. Yeah. That, and believe that it or not, leg up. believe it or not, it's over. It is? Yeah, once Sorry, you miss Irma. Once you miss one of those, <laughs> can you, 10 seconds goes yeah. away. Can, can, you, uh, can you pick up the time and everything else? Can you, can you ad lib the rest the of the end. show? See you tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. <laughs> will furnish by Pierre Cardin. Travel, starring Chuck Woolery, is produced in association with Exposure Unlimited. This program is based on the Scrabble brand software game. Scrabble is a Red Grundy production.